Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Paddling Pool 219. I'm Calliope Thorne, uh, joined here with uh, Zeri. We are going to be watching Oyasumi versus what I am told translates to Pretzel Gang. <laughs> and I will leave it at that. <laughs> yes, um, as the person who, who will get everything wrong pronunciation-wise, I... Uh, I will say that it's br Brezel Band. Um, I, it's wrong. Well, it's, but <laughs> well, you okay? So it's it's pretzel. It, it, so I'm I'm guessing you would pronounce it like pretzel or something like that. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Don't know. Um, uh, our our streamer our streamer pronounced it very quickly and uh, yes. it just did yes. not stick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Majora did say it, but you know, in that normal way and then that there people were, do. There were, <laughs> there were so many words after that, though. Okay. Witzelbande. <laughs> Witzelbande. So Got yeah, it. German. Anyway, I should. We should also mention that this is still round two. This is still a round two set. This um, is true because we this finished so quickly. Um, so you get extra today because we didn't get a round one. But okay, mm. either way. Technically, you get the same amount. Mm, true, but <laughs> you get ex extra of this round because we deprived you. Um, but interesting to see that there's like three different kind of wipers and um, yeah, new tetras and a squeezer. Interesting. I'm already it's... two down for a oh, while, I assume. Oh. Three down. Oh. Yeah. So we will see, uh, no, nope. we will see Pretzel Gang, uh, <laughs> <laughs> quickly. Felt better of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will see Fair Pretzel enough. Gang quickly breaking the checkpoint here. Mm -hmm. Uh, though we assume he is going to try and fend them off a little bit, popping a few specials here. Yep, and, and it does reset, reset to mint, which is always, always helpful. Um, uh, but... It doesn't look like it's gonna stay there for very long, so eh, pretzel bun, uh, pretzel guy. I'm I'm just gonna follow in your lead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretzel, pretzel gang, definitely trying to keep uh, the pressure on so that they can Ooh. do a run like this. And they are starting this way, but are they gonna be able to get it much further past where they already got it to? Does look yeah. like that's gonna be a possibility. I saw the. Uh... <laughs> I saw the Zipcaster came out to try and punish the crab, and it was just too late. And by that time, yeah, they picked up the Rainmaker, and they're gonna try and. Oh, they're gonna get it this time. They're gonna take out the Rainmaker, try and yep. pop it, let it reset again. Oh, and they haven't quite popped it. No, they do need to pop it and either push it or let it reset because if it's just staying there then that just means that yes mm. it's slightly popped in the direction of Oyazumi but that that's not getting it out of their base and as no. three of them go down oh yeah. my goodness although I think oh, we might Does... get the reset yeah, yes we do get the reset lucky them but yeah but the... so close to not getting it oh my god <laughs> the anxiety and and their pretzel gang gets it. So while they were able to stall things a little bit, it's it's looking pretty overwhelming in the favorite pretzel gang. Mm. Yeah, they just they just so much pressure and so much constant like um, aggression mm -hmm. against um, Oizumi from like most sides. Maybe not all, but most sides. Which yeah. is not it's not ideal. For them there's still there's two down pretzel guy Great. two of them are in base but that doesn't seem to have given uh what is it they, too much hope at the moment they're doing they're doing such a good job just making sure that this push doesn't go too much further past 40 but mm. actually creating a push of their own making some momentum against pretzel gang is not really working out for them no now, it really isn't and now it's almost like they overextended, even though they just really, they didn't even get to mid with it. Yep. Yep, that is exactly what we've been seeing here. It just seems like even when they're together, they feel like they're not, right? Mm. It feels like it's all uh, 
one one v one v one v one, right? Um, mm. on the side of Oyazumi, but pretz uh, pretzel gang uh, <laughs> do look like they're being a lot more yeah, together, a more right? Related. A lot of a lot more synergy. Taking um, out both the uh, the ball point and the uh, uh, zip caster there. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly you can see that it's working very well in their favor here. Like yet again, that the Julies, Ooh. there was no one there to help them. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, look at that. They've already got five more points here. Um, but yeah. we're in. It's less than a minute left. Important to note. They need to get pushing. Yeah, they're. Oyasumi just doing such a wonderful job preventing the knockout, but it it's still going to be a lost game if they can't put any points of their own on the board. Yep, yes indeed. Um, and it does look like they're going to be able to almost get this in the mid, but the, oh, not quite! Oh, they will oh. trade at the very least. Yeah, that Rainmaker means shot coming out. And here we go, points on the board, points on the board. Going up that direction might not be the way that they're going to be able to go, but doesn't ooh, look like ooh. we're going to be able to go anywhere. Maybe, maybe. Very. No. Oh no! Yeah, I was no. going to say this very key taking out the Spatana uh, stamper, but the yeah, it was not enough. No, it was not. Pretzel Gang will take it. Yep. Yes, they will, and. That will be game. Not as decisive as last round. Not no, like the, no. that, the last round. No game. KO. And mm -hmm. they, they did actually end up getting some points of their own on there at the very end. But unfortunately, yeah, they just weren't able to push it. They just, yep. Their own aggression fell apart. Um, yeah. And as we as we mentioned during the game, it did kind of seem like Oizumi was playing a lot more like... Like, they weren't a team as such. They weren't really playing around each other's specials or each other's pushes. Mm. But that can happen whenever it gets a bit dire anyway. Like, whenever, uh, you know, for the first half of the game, you don't even... Or even, not even the first half, like, the first four minutes of the game, you don't even get in the mid. Like, yeah. it's understandable. Um, but that did seem like a bit of... It kind of kind of kneecapped them a little bit there. They weren't able to get back in because they weren't really playing together in the way that they needed to. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. Frustration is a good motivator, but it's uh, very, very poor for actually affecting your judgment skills in the moment. Yeah, it can make um, you blind a bit. Yeah, you, you get that motivation, but at what cost? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. Um, we are going to be going on to Sturgeon Shipyard now, though, which we did see earlier. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it could be that Oyasumi are more of a stationary kind of objective team. That's maybe something that they excel at instead of uh, the constant aggression towards spawn that the like, you know, Rainmaker causes. Um, so this might be something that kind of tilts in their favor, but it's also still Sturgeon, <laughs> so eh, eh. Depends. Um, and also I will say to chat, I, I, we just butcher it, that's, we just butchered the, the German name, so um, that's why we're calling it Pretzel Guy, because <laughs> it is what it means, but um, Personally, I actually have a German partner, and I don't want to end up offending her too much. <laughs> so, like, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have no reason to be any good at languages except I spent five years learning them. But that's not important. I was young. <laughs> I am no longer young. Um, <laughs> it too didn't many, go into my head. <laughs> too many Splatoon games have happened since then. Yes, yes, indeed. There's no space for the German language in there, not anymore. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we're seeing we're seeing similar comps here. Maybe not exactly the same, but similar. And always oh, is the first one to lose a player. This is not ideal. It did get the zone first, though. Yeah. But... Fortunately, an early flip like that really isn't too big of a deal. They are going to lose the lead here, but it's just they only have a, a buffer of about nine points, so 
Yeah, they don't so have... So long as... Ooh, that try strike does take out the ball point, though. Yep, and they, they tried need to escape to it, be... but just couldn't. They absolutely need that to uh, paint the zone, but <laughs> that's not looking like it's going to be easily done. That player stuck up there and does get taken down by two players uh, on the side of Pretzelbund. Yeah, the, the there was a whole Splatana fight that happened, and unfortunately, the two, in the two v one there, uh, the oh, that was sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. That was really <laughs> good play, and we yeah. will see the zone flip <laughs> just because of that one ball point with their two mm -hmm. kills. They were able to completely get uh, Fretzel Band off of. Off of every time I have to, I say that I have to look at the word and I'm still getting it wrong. But anyway, that's solely because of that um, well point there that they were able to get them off the zone. Um, but yet again, it's all about being able to keep it. Um, yes, which so far they're doing a fairly good job. But you see Bretzelband coming in trying to. Oh, you know, we're going to be focusing the Zipcaster on trying to paint here, and it might work out taking mm -hmm. the player down. If that's but no, we were for... going to see Oyasumi keep the zone, oh, yep, and yep, they're getting I'm... very close now. That Splatana was the only one left alive there as well, which will make it Ooh, a oh. easier. Oh. Yep, and I think, yep, that is going to be them taking the lead. And unless we get some really hot burst paint, that's the game. That will be the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, I thought, I thought that was going to go a different kind of way. Pretzel band here not really able to get they needed to oh. it, if they had just kept it going i'm sure it would have been fine but that that inkjet uh coming in taking the player out and flipping the zone because oyasumi they they have the holding power mm -hmm. it's just um they they needed to get that flip and they did so yep. that will be we will be going game three and you love to see it. You love to see it. We don't get to see game threes, especially in groups, all that often. But when you do, when you do, you know it's good. Um, and tire control can be a little bit in between. Like, obviously, it's not splat zones. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't have the true freedom of movement that you get in a Rainmaker game. So it can definitely be a bit more in between, but a bit more... On the, it's still a mobile uh, objective, so it's still kind of a bit this more is true. towards Rainmaker. But yeah, it, it still could go either way. Um, if Oizumi is able to kind of, yet again, keep a hold of of the objective, keep a hold of the tar, then this mm. could definitely go their way. But we have seen Pretzelban be very, um, how do you say it, aggressive? Uh, <laughs> I was I was even going to say oppressive. Oppressive, that too. That also absolutely it describes them. So this could very very easily go in their favor if Oizumi isn't able to find their footing. That's what I'm kind of worried for them about because it once they had that flip, once they got. Um, that that those two kills, the uh, ballpoint got those two kills, and were able to, they were able to flip it. Um, that was a completely different game from the start, absolutely. But I, they just need to have that moment. Maybe they just need to mm -hmm. have that. Um, I don't know. The ability to do that, and I'm not quite sure if we're going to see that. So, hoping to. Hoping I to see a very her. back and forth game, but it all depends. Oh, and we are okay. busting out the the heavy huh. now. Yeah, and that's the new heavy. That's the Kraken one. Okay, I haven't seen that much of the, those um, so far. It's not been out for very long, but um, in tournaments I haven't seen that many. Um, and also, should mention that, the, that Oizumi is now bringing a blaster into it, and of course it's the S-Blast, um, which does get a kill there, but it does end up going down for it. Hmm. So, as you can see here, Oizumi is 
the one painting. They're, they're the ones painting at the moment, unable to push forward, which is not... <laughs> this is not what we were seeing in Rainmaker. No. Oh. Where's that hydra? I was gonna... Oh, hydra. Where's that heavy still alive? Oh. <laughs> Truly. We will never know. <laughs> but yeah, and this is not Jeff going well for Retzelman. Fight. But it's fine. Mm. Oh. Though that's a... That is going to get them pushed back a little bit and... Oh, unfortunately unable to punish the uh, this jump. Mm -hmm. And does get punished for it instead. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, lots of people just just dying. <laughs> they just yeah. dying. <laughs> um, but there's, yeah, this is cool. Splatoon is a game where there's a lot of death because like uh, the squid kids are pretty fragile. They are. They are indeed, and they they all have pretty dangerous weapons. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. They respawn. They are gamers. Yeah, they're absolute gamers. It's okay. Don't 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 worry about it. Uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, it, that's the that's what you mean through the second. <laughs> yeah, it only hurts a little bit. Uh, but that's Ooh, through that second checkpoint. I, that that triple ink strike was. Oh, the triple ink strike on itself wasn't able to do enough, but fortunately following up on it and punishing uh, was able to get them pushed back. And now they're doing their best to try and get some paint control. Mm. That is something that I will say about the differences between these comps, right? Um, now I think even from the beginning, Pretzel Band wasn't very paint orientated. Um, but it did take them a bit to get mid, even though there was no one in mid to fight them. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're not... Pretzel Band doesn't have the most uh, paint-heavy of comps, because they do yeah. have that blaster, and the Splatana isn't exactly going to do the most paint-wise. But sometimes that doesn't matter, because if you're in their base, if you're uh, just keeping them back, which we're not quite at yet, then that doesn't overly matter to Because um, this... Heavy, just trying to find someone, but I don't think it's gonna work well for them. They're just gonna get punished for this. Um, they are, on. they are still alive. But oh, but not by the tar. Yeah, they're they're very in a, they're alive, but at the cost of being in a very irrelevant position. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank goodness the rest of the team was able to stop that push because if it had gotten away away from them, um, that could have been much much worse. But as you can see here, mm. just Bretzel Van still has a lot of mid control, um, which is helping them to be able to continue and start the push again. But they also are having to be a bit more. They have to mm. get the those specials. Oh. There's, there's the Kraken. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and there comes the Kraken to Ooh. get a couple kills and a third. <laughs> so. Yeah, that is very big for you, Sumi. That is going to help allow the. Oh! Oh, but we have. Say, this isn't the most sharky of weapons, right? It's, yeah. It doesn't. Oh. It, it doesn't benefit from it. <laughs> I was, I was, I was so excited though because it looked for a second like it was going to make it work, but. Yes, but sadly, not quite. <laughs> That those tri strikes, they're not be able to find anyone to kill, but they do get Oyazumi moving off of that plaque and giving that Splatana more room mm. to come up here and find people. Um, this, if they're able to get past that checkpoint, this could spell disaster for it, Oyazumi. Uh, and they yeah. are able to, because it doesn't take much. They're not far. No. And, yep, there you go. Nope. Yep, there we go. That's literally all it takes. All it takes. And Oizumi were in such a strong position the whole game. But that last checkpoint was mm -hmm. kind of like their last wall of defense there. Because if they can't get it can't get them off it while it's, you know, stuck in the same position, and as soon as it starts moving again, um, they're gonna have people are gonna be down and it's not gonna be enough. So Yeah. 
Absolutely well played, though. Indeed. As I was going to say, that's the... At the very least, the... While Oizumi did have uh, control through the majority of the game, the... Mm -hmm. I have to applaud uh, Bretzel Band there. That that was a very good final push. That is exactly what they needed to do to take the set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just kept going for it. Even whenever, for the entire game, Oizumi was strongly in the lead, because Oizumi never actually got to really push again, it kind of... Yeah, um, they did. They had that one yeah. strong push, and then... Mm -hmm. It just was not... Yeah, it just kind of felt like... Not that they fell apart, because they were able to push them out a number of times, but it yeah. just felt like it like it was working away at their defense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, it, they they were they were able to hold the defense for a very good long time, but it, that last 30 seconds there, that just... Yeah. They finally had it chipped away. Indeed, indeed they did. And I'm imagining we're going to be setting up for round three because we play two games in round two so uh we're gonna go to a quick break and this is definitely gonna be quick um so absolutely don't be going anywhere but we will be back real soon with round three as opposed to two round twos <laughs> <laughs> so don't go anywhere we will be back 